What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Shantia, and I'm back with another banger, another word, okay? Now, listen, y'all, I got a word for y'all today, but first, I just want to remind everybody that tickets to the First Class Summit virtual tickets are still on sale. Go to thefirstclasssummit.com, okay, to get your tickets to my conference on June 17th. You don't want to miss it. I also want to tell everybody that what is launching on June 17th will be a subscription-based membership, okay? So, all all of those that would want full access okay to me whether that's me going live me showing y'all how i made six figures me sh talking about business just d all of the above okay and i'm not just going to talk about business but i'm going to talk about business and doing business god's way okay so that you can really elevate and in ways that you could have never imagined okay and listen it's okay for those that may not have the money for the membership or the description it's okay child you can just stick to watching my free videos that you see on youtube okay or catch my lives everybody is in different seasons okay but if you ever want to elevate you got to get into a community and you got to get connected with the people who have already done the thing that you are praying to to God for but listen y'all so I got a word for y'all today and um the title of this video is same God same grace okay same God same grace if y'all were on my live yesterday I went live for the first time ever on YouTube okay if y'all were on my live yesterday um I kept singing this song and I keep singing it today okay the Holy Spirit will not get it off my spirit but um it's the song God's giving you the same grace, the same grace. God's giving me the same grace, the same grace. Listen, child, I know that we all love the word grace, but if you ever let grace really sit down in your spirit, to really understand what grace is like grace is something that can never be earned but it's freely given by god grace is extended to those who do right and those who do wrong grace is something that cannot be explained grace is when you come into a situation and god stands there and he is no respecter of man grace comes into situations that doesn't even make sense grace overrides a paper grace overrides your credit score grace overrides a judge grace overrides everything in this world that man has created listen child God said same grace same God and of course he led me to scripture okay and in Hebrews 13 8 y'all this is the scripture where it says Jesus Christ is the same yesterday today and forevermore okay and so for um the bible scripture to say that he is the same god with the same grace i was thinking about people in the bible okay who experience god grace and there's a plethora of people in the bible who experiences god's grace but um the first person that came to my mind was noah okay and you know some people might be questioning why was noah the exception of the one who was not washed away in the flood okay but god preserved his life and preserved his family's life okay that was grace noah was a righteous man okay who walked with god and then you think about abram and sarah who had been sarah was uh or sarah one of them sarah i think yeah who was childless okay and they decided to do things their way and abram became disobedient and yet god still had grace for him even in that moment where god could have punished him for his disobedience, god still showed him love and grace love and grace love and grace and i just wonder if we just wake up one day and decide to choose love and grace and decide to and decide to extend love and grace to our enemies, to those who have done us wrong, to those who like us, to those who don't like us, to those who love us, to those who hate us. I wonder who we would become if we were to extend the same love and grace that God extends to us. It doesn't have to make sense. It doesn't matter if they crossed you. It doesn't matter if they talked about you. Listen, child, I'm talking to myself too. But I just wonder how much better this world would be. I just wonder how much better your relationships would be. I just wonder how much better your mind and your heart would be if we were to just extend love and grace to those around us, okay? Listen, child, 
I thought that this word was so good because these past two days, God just kept speaking to me on. God's giving you the same grace. The same grace. God's giving you the same grace. The same grace. The same grace that rose Jesus from the dead. The same grace that he gave, um, what's their names, child? Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. The same grace. The same grace that pulled you up out that pit. The same grace that did it for you last time. The same grace that paid your bills. The same grace that got you out that toxic relationship. The same grace. God said, I'm giving you the same grace. It's not going to be earned. You're not going to work for it. You're not going to pray for it. You're not going to fast for it. But God said, I'm going to give it just because. I was talking about that too last night. God is a just because God. God wants to do stuff just because he is our father. Just because he is the alpha and the omega. Just because he is loyal. Just because he is trustworthy. Just because he loves you. And just because you are the apple of his eye. Listen, child. Anytime God steps into our situation and gives us a just because blessings, those are the blessings that you can't explain. Those are the blessings that don't make sense. And yet all you have to do in that moment is to just praise and thank God for his grace. Because sh you shouldn't even be in the situation that you are right now. You shouldn't even have the income that you have right now. You shouldn't even be living in the house that you're living in right now. Don't get too prideful and big headed and have so much ego to think that you did it all, all on your own god said that was my grace that you got promoted that was my grace that you're in that healthy marriage that was my grace that i saved your child that is my grace that i saved you god said that is my grace that you are in the place that you're in don't ever get too prideful to think that you were the one who did it by yourself elevation and promotion comes from God and anytime you step into a new season where God is elevating you and promoting you you yourself can't even stop what God is going to do you yourself can't even stop where God is taking you and no other person no other thing no other stronghold can stop what God has spoken over you in this season that's grace that's grace that's grace some of y'all are still alive because of God's grace. Because he gave you a second chance, a second wind at life. That's God's grace. Listen, child. I was also saying last night on my live that you can't fall in love with what God has and what's in his hand. But fall in love with God's heart. Fall in love with who he is, right? Who he, who he, who he has always been. Okay, just like the scripture says, Jesus Christ is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. Listen, child, fall in love with who he is, a provider, a protector, your lawyer, your dentist, your stylist, whatever it is that you need in that moment, God said, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm a one-stop shop. Whatever you need me to be, I can be it for you. He said, I'm always present. He's always present. Listen, child. I don't know who this word was for, but God just wanted me to say that. <laughs> He's giving you the same grace. The same grace. God's giving you the same grace. The same grace. God said, if I did it before, <laughs> I'm going to do it again. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I pray that you all have a beautiful, blessed, and prosperous day. Okay. I pray that you all continue to focus and be grateful on the things that you already currently possess, okay, that are currently in your control and let go of the things that you cannot control, okay, and allow God to have full control over that, okay, so that he can do greater works and he can do something greater than you can ever imagine, okay? So anyways, y'all, I pray that you all have a beautiful, blessed, and prosperous day. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video out to whoever needs this reminder, okay? I love you all, and I will see you all next time. Bye.